Okay. So, aqueous solutions of sodium hypochlorite, best known as household bleach, are prepared by reaction of sodium hydroxide with chlorine gas. How many grams of sodium hydroxide are needed to react with 25.0 grams of chlorine? Okay. So, the only thing, oh, and then it gives us the uh, reaction <coughs> equation. So the only thing, uh, other thing that it gave us was the mass of um, chlorine gas, right? So that mass of chlorine gas was 25.0 grams. And it wanted to know, well, how much um, sodium hydroxide would we need to completely react with that 25 grams. So does everybody understand what it's asking? So remember the, so I guess I'm going to give it away since it's the first one we're doing today and I don't want to push you guys too hard while we're recording. But remember that the reaction equation gives us a mole to mole ratio of these various substances that are reacting and forming in the actual reaction. Is everybody okay with that? So it's a mole to mole ratio based on the coefficient in front of each one of those uh, individual species or substances. Is everybody okay with that? Okay. So let's just go ahead and underline the coefficients. Remember, if the coefficient is one, it's just implied. It's not there, you know, so we don't actually formally put it. I'm going to eventually stop doing this for you guys, but for right now, I think it's a good thing. So in other words, since it's a mole-to-mole -mole conversion, and it wants us to eventually convert chlorine to sodium <coughs> hydroxide, that gives us the actual ratio of the mole-to-mole -mole conversion. So in other words, I'm just going to write that ratio really quick. So two moles of sodium hydroxide equal one mole of chlorine gas. Is everybody okay with me doing something like that? So that's eventually we're going to need that conversion method. The first thing we need to do though, if we're going to get to moles of chlorine, right, and we have grams of chlorine, we've got to get, yeah, we're going to have to get the moles of chlorine. How do we do that? Smaller mass, right? So, <laughs> So if we look up at the periodic table, it's uh, 35.45, so 35.45 times 2, 70.90 grams of chlorine um, per 1 mole of chlorine. Okay, I'm going to not do this, I'm not going to solve every step. I'm going to just keep going along on the conversion train here, okay? So, I'm going to be able from that to cancel out my grams of chlorine. Is everybody fine with doing that? So now we're at moles of chlorine. Remember, we wanted eventually to get, I think, grams of sodium hydroxide, right? Um, yeah, right, that's right. Grams of sodium hydroxide. So, first we need to get to moles of sodium hydroxide. Okay, so. So using that conversion factor that was derived from the chemical equation. Give me that. So now we've got to figure out, well, what's the molar mass of sodium hydroxide? Right. And if you, I'm just going to do it on my calculator. I'm not going to formally write it out. If you're having trouble with that, please go back to the molar mass videos, OK? And check it out. So. Sodium, 22.99, plus oxygen, 16, plus hydrogen, 1.008. So I got 40.00 grams of sodium hydroxide per one mole. I'm doing it the wrong way, though. 
40 grams sodium hydroxide, one mole sodium hydroxide. And of course, the reason I was able to figure that out, even though I know Justin almost caught me right before I figured it out, um, was because I looked at my units and I would realize that you know I had them inverted. I couldn't cancel them. Out. Um, and then. That should give me the answer. So, times twenty five and to three sig figs, I got twenty eight point two grams of sodium. Is needed to completely react with the Okay, any questions on that one? Okay, good.